Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, Carlos, August 17th, which is your birthday, and your yeah. daughter lives in Australia, and you get to go to Australia and fight on your birthday. That's pretty pretty crazy because I think in the interview with uh, Gilbert Burns and, and uh, Hanato Murakano, you said that you wanted to fight and make a quick return. How does it feel to be going to Australia? Uh, I'm really happy, you know. Uh, I'm going to see my daughter. I'm going to fight. I'm going to make money on my birthday. Uh, come to a new country. i never been in Australia. And get one more win, one more bones of night. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. For sure. And uh, Jing, Jing Liang Li, what are your thoughts on him and uh, his fighting style? Uh, he's a really good fighter. He's a good striker. Uh, we trained together maybe 2016, 17 in Phuket top team. Not not too much, but we did some light sparring, something like that. I don't remember too much about him, but he's a really good fighter, a really good striker. And I think he never go, uh, got knocked out. Mm -hmm. I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. But it's going to be a good fight. I'm really excited to step in the cage and fight against him. Yeah, it is going to be a good fight. And I think uh, many people don't know, but you're known in China. You fought in China many times. You know, MMA, kickboxing, right? Like, you've done tournaments out there. Yeah, when I was living in Thailand, uh, many, many times I would come to China to fight K1 and MMA. Most of times in China, I fought K1, like maybe 30, 40 times. Uh, I was in China to fight K1 and did some MMA fights also. But I think I spent around three, four years of my life going to China, to China almost every month. This is a pretty quick turnaround for you. You know, like in the UFC, UFC, they say, oh, two months is a quick turnaround. But for you, I think uh, I remember people telling me that you used to fight like two times a week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, I think the first time in Thailand, I fought six times, six times in one month. And also the, my last my last fight, I, 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 uh, I won really fast. I didn't got an injury. I think he, I got the bonus also, really good performance. That's why UFC gave me to fight in Australia. And I think also not too many people, especially from Brazil, want to come to Australia and fight, you know, because the fight time and the jet lag is really bad. There you're going to fight it morning, you know. Uh, the last time was UFC in Australia. I heard people saying they go out to hotel to go to a stadium and fight. 6 a.m., you know, that's crazy. So I think not too much people want to fight there. Yeah, that's true. Not many people want to fight there. But it seems like you, you're like, yeah. you like the challenge, you know. You like to be in uncomfortable situations. Yeah, uh, like I say to my coach and my friends, uh, I'm friend of the, how, how is the word when it's in the, the situation is not comfortable? Um, How is the word? Like adversity, you're talking about adversity. Like, uh, like uh, obstacles, uncomfortable. Unco no, yeah, it's how you say uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm friend of uncomfortable. You know. Uh, oh, you're like, friend yeah, of uh, yeah, uncomfort. I'm, yeah, I think if you become friend of uncomfortable, not too much things can hurt you. Mm -hmm. I can make you surprise or something like that, you know? Definitely. And, you know, your last fight, it ended with a knee to the body. And I remember last year, LFA, 154, you, you had kind of like a similar finish, but the knee landed on the head. Was that kind of a similar fight setup? Yeah, yeah, it was the same. It was almost the same, you know? I didn't hold it, the, his hand on LFA, but the knee was, was on, the, on the, the same direction. Uh, was to to knock him out, and also was the the my opponent was the same kind of opponent, you know. They both was trying to take me down, and they was grappling, and 
I have, it's really good. They, I train a lot of knee for many angles, for many times, day by day, and now it's time to 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 get one more. Yeah, if you watch a, a lot of your fights, you know, even like your K1 fights and your kick uh, Muay Thai fights, you throw a lot of knees, you know what I mean? That's something that's like one of your main weapons, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think because I'm so tall, mm -hmm. I'm not orthodox, and I'm tall. That's why I think I, I, it's a little bit easier to me uh, drop some knees, you know, and I don't know, it's, 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 it's natural. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, you got back-to-back -back bonuses. You're going to go for your third one in one year. That's crazy, right? And, and you talk about you invest in your career with the money. What have you done since the last fight? Did you invest more? Yeah, I invest more. I invest in also in myself, in my career, you know, like uh, people to, I don't know the, the right, the right uh, word in English, but the, like the... the People should take care about my social media, YouTube channel, uh, doctors with me on my gym, you know. Now I finish my training on the gym and uh, I go to do recovery. Uh, I, I, inside of the gym, I also have a doctor with me. I finished the training. He was, he's there waiting for me, help me and take care about my body, my health, you know. I think he, I don't have, I, I, I don't want to fight too much. I think I have more five years, six years. So I want to do, I want to be the best Carlos Pratt on my last six years and become a champion and make a lot of money. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that you started the YouTube channel. How has that been? Yeah, it's really good. You know, it's, it's, it's new for me because I'm not, I'm, I'm not good, really good talking with the camera. Or people make a video about me, but it, it's fun. It's fun. I I planning to do a podcast. You know, podcast. Yeah, I planning to do after my my fight with a friend. Uh, did you think about doing yeah, other sports? Do you think about doing other sports? Maybe like football or something. Yeah, we're gonna talk about everything. Football. I like F one, and yeah, because it's really really popular in Brazil. Football, you know. Oh, for sure. You know, after the last fight, did you just jump right into training camp right away or did you take a break? Yeah, I think I got break for three weeks, but I, 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 already, I already knew I would fight in Australia because after my fight, I did an interview inside the Autobahn and my manager sent a message to me, I think, because I, I, I asked to fight, to fight in Australia and... Uh, like two minutes after my fight, Mickey replied my manager and say he's on the card already uh, in Australia. So after fight, uh, I knew already I was on the card, but I got like uh, two weeks to stop. I didn't stop, you know. I I just don't didn't was not doing pads and run on the street. But I come to the gym, do some sparring and things like that, but not really training a lot and wake up in the morning, go to the run and back to the gym, hit some pads and training afternoon again. And, you know, I got some break, like three weeks, two weeks and a half. And then when they sent me the name of opponent, I was like, ah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fight. And, you know, Lee, he, he's been gone for a long time. You know, I think it's been like two years, you know, he has not fought. Yeah. Almost two weeks. Yeah. It's, do you, do, do you believe in like ring rust? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, bro, I don't know. I, I didn't, I never got too much time without fights, you know. So I don't know if it's true or not. I don't believe that. I prefer, don't believe that. I prefer uh, his two years without fights, without uh, uh, yeah, probably any injury, uh, you know. He not, not stress. Uh, he don't do a fight camp for a long time, so he's like fresh. I think he's he's m much more motivated. He got a, a rest, you know. Probably he was doing what he liked to do, eat a lot of food, what he liked to eat, and now he's fresh and decide to come back and fight. You know, uh, I, I prefer believe on that okay and you know lee he's been around for a long time you know i think he has like 17 fights in the ufc he was ranked top 10 before 
I think this is yeah. perfect opponent for you to, you know, jump up in the rankings, right? Yeah, I think the same. I think the same. Uh, I, I I don't know if you after got the after get the win against Lee. I don't know if I'm gonna fight somebody on top 15, but probably somebody really near, really close of top 15. You know, I think maybe if you if you after fight you against Lee. Don't give me somebody of top 15. Probably I'm gonna win one more fight and then I'm gonna fight somebody on the on the rank, you know. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not rushed. I like to do it step by step, and that's it. I'm not rushed. Uh, you posted a picture of uh you sparring with uh Kyle Barhayo. How is it? How is it working with him, bro? For me, it's horrible. You know, it's it's really bad because. He put me on the ground and he smashed me for five minutes, ten minutes, you know. But I learned a lot. I learned, I'm kidding. I am learning a lot. I really like to train with Kayo. He's really, really good uh, grappler. He's a good striker also, but his grappling is, is, is different level, you know. He's training many, many years with Demi Maia when he was young. And he's really good. When when you are on the ground with him, you can only move your eyes, you know, nothing more. But I, I learned a lot. He teach me a lot of things, a lot of details. And I think the more the more important, uh, he teach me a lot of times when I need to get up and things like that. I really like to train with him. I don't like to train with him, but I like to train with him. Well, you yeah, need it, right? You understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and, but you need it because eventually, you know, when you get to the top 10, you're going to fight somebody similar to that style, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, when when we start to talk, I say I'm friend of un un uncomfortable, yeah? Yeah, because every time when I come to train with Kayo, uh, another guy, he was former UFC fighter. Now he fighting a ACA, Elias Silverio, uh, many many guys uh, there on on the gym. Uh, I like to 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 pull on the guard when I try start to train with them and then get up, you know. But it's it's really hard sometimes. I I, I don't get up on the training for any time, but I know when I got one time, I'm really happy because I know I'm one percent better. You know, and if I'm on the train, I I was like one hour and a half just got smashed. Fifty fifteen minutes during the fight is easy to to get up. But you know, I think your ground game is underestimated. You know, because I've seen you, you know, yeah. fight on the ground like reverse. You know, throw up arm bars off your back. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. you, you 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 can grapple. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a really good guy on the on to do takedowns, but I have good takedowns, but I think I'm really good BJJ fighter, you know, like he, um, today I did an interview, we talked about the same thing, I prefer don't show my BJJ until I need to show my BJJ, you know, let them know, let, let they think about, ah, it's easy to put cars on the ground and be on top and smash him, but Bro, when you guys see me on the ground, you're gonna say, "Oh, he, he, that guy is different, different level." Definitely. You know what? What do you think is gonna happen in this fight in in Perth? I think you're gonna fight uh, uh, all the fight. I don't know if you're gonna finish on the first round, on the second round, but I don't think I don't gonna try takedowns, and I think I, I almost. Sure, he don't gonna try take down also, and I think you're gonna do a really good fight to people's in Perth, and I hope got the bonus again, maybe fight of the night or maybe performance of the night because he's a really tough opponent, and yeah, I think it's gonna be a good fight, crazy fight, but any take down, any grappling. Yeah, yeah, it, it is gonna be a great fight. Um, I want to ask you a couple questions about welterweight division. Um. You know, you got Leon mm -hmm. Edwards, you got Bilal Mohammed, you got Shavkat, you got Kamaru Usman even. Who do you think is the most dangerous in the welterweight division? I think for me, 
if I would say to fight against me, mm -hmm. I think the most dangerous opponent is Xavi Card, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think Xavi Card. Right. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's good on uh, stand-up, have a good striker, he's a good wrestler mm -hmm. also, and yeah, he's a good opponent. All right. And I think the most dangerous. Did You know, since you're a striker, did you watch the Ian Gary MVP fight? Yeah, yeah, I saw. Oh. I saw. What do you and think? And to be honest, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't got surprised mm -hmm. because Ian Gary is training with Demi Maia mm -hmm. right now. Okay. And I was like, he, uh, maybe, maybe he gonna try take down, mm -hmm. you know. And I think MVP is is hard to to take him down, but when he he get down, he don't get, he's not good on get get up mm -hmm. again, you know. What, yeah. what do you think about Ian Gary? Yeah, and, that could uh, be a possible uh, fight soon. Say again? What do you think about Ian Gary? That could be a fight in the future for you. Yeah, you? it would be so cool fight against him. I like his style. He's a good fighter. And it would be amazing fight against him. I think now he's, he's 10 or 7 on, on rank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe you need more one year, one year and a half to, to fight him. But I would love to fight that guy. I, I would love to fight Kevin Holland also, Michael Page, um, uh, Joaquin Buckley also. Michael Page after this fight would be good. Yeah, I would love to fight him, bro. <laughs> the first time I, I I think I told you the last the last interview we did. Yeah. The first time when Douglas fought him, uh, yeah. the first time, him. the first time. I was the spine of Douglas, and so I, I it's kind of, I feel like he, I know the way to knock that guy out. All right. Well, hey, there's a, there's a lot of advice for you, you know, in the future, but this fight coming up is, is actually a really good fight. UFC 305, yeah. pay-per-view, Perth, Australia, August 17th. Carlos, thank you, man, always for uh, taking the time and uh, all the best in the fight. Thank you so much, brother. It's our pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much.